Science Show. Today, I'm bringing you a special episode of JoJo Science Show. This week, I was able to attend the Air and Space STEM Day at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. I want to thank the United States Air Force for inviting me. This is how I felt when I got invited. Thousands of students were there to learn about STEM and medical careers in the Air Force and military. The Air and Space Expo also included an air show. The U.S. Navy Blue Angels and the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds aerial demonstration teams were also there to perform some amazing maneuvers in the air. These pilots are truly the best of the best. You'll see why these pilots are elite. Grace and I were able to meet Dr. Heather Wilson, the Secretary of the United States Air Force. And General Wilson, he's a four-star general and Vice Chief of Staff of the United States Air Force. We did a science experiment together, and I was able to ask them some questions about STEM careers in the Air Force. I want you to study science. Judge, how old are you? I'm 10. So you like science, huh? Yeah. All right, so what experiment are we going to do today? We're going to do these balloon rockets. Balloon rockets? What is that It works because of Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And we're going to do three here, right? Yeah, I'm going to raise two other people. Okay, so we're going to blow up these balloons. Race. Let's ask I, think I, sure. I think you're a race first. <laughs> Here's Sir Isaac Newton to tell us what his third law of motion is. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. In the case of the balloon rocket, the action is all the air rushing out of the back of the balloon and expanding. The reaction is the balloon moving forward. If we replace the balloon with a jet, the principle is the same. The jet engine forces hot, expanding gases out of the back, which causes the jet to move forward. This is Newton's third law of motion in action. See, Sir Isaac Newton? People are still using your laws of motion today. Wow, that's amazing. Lift is created when air rushes past the wings of the jet. There were over 30 science and technology demos. You can learn about robotics by driving a robot on the moon. Or you could drive a rover on Mars. There's a pre-recorded message from an astronaut. U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Nick Haig, who is currently on the International Space Station. You know, becoming an astronaut takes a lot of training and being focused on getting a great education. Cool, right? There were representatives from NASA. And the people from NAVZ brought these really cool robots that you could drive underwater. Let's see if we can catch that ring. There you go. This really big drone is the MQ-9 Reaper. Drones are very useful for executing missions without putting any lives in danger. So what message do you want to give kids out there who are watching? I want kids to know that if you want to make a difference in life, if you want to solve problems that are going to matter, keep studying math and science. And, uh, and if you really want to have a life of service, consider joining the United States is the Air Force set working on any futuristic technology like uh, maybe AI or VR? VR. In fact, uh, uh, we're working on artificial intelligence, but we're also, when we mentioned VR, virtual reality, we're now starting to train pilots using virtual reality as well as, uh, as, well as flying in an airplane. Oh yeah, I got to use it. This is that machine that they used to train, it, to train them. I got to use the machine. It was. 
he turned off the crashing and the and the blood rushing out in and out of your head. So it was basically a video game at that point. But when you was it right up on your eyes? So you can move your head yeah, around. Yeah, it was a helmet and I could move my head around and yep. I could see it and it was Here's really something cool. else. So our newest airplanes have helmets, real airplanes have helmets where you look down and it's like the cockpit's not there. It's like you're looking through the floor of your oh. This cool virtual reality simulator helps train pilots to fly an airplane or a jet. These are the virtual reality goggles. You put them on to see the virtual environment. There's a throttle to accelerate and a joystick to steer the jet. Look, Ma, I'm upside down! Woo! You can do barrel rolls and tricks. Look! I'm going upside down. Now I'm flying in the nighttime. This system has two sensors to keep track of where you're looking. I'm flying above Washington, D.C. right now. Do you see the reflection pool? With the advanced mapping technology, you can fly almost anywhere in the world with a few clicks. Look, I'm on top of Mount Everest. And special thanks to my new friends Castillo and Lyle for letting me use the cool VR simulator. Do you see how big this jet engine is? It's even bigger than I am. Powers the world's F-15 Eagles and F-16 Fighting Falcons. How does STEM help the Air Force? Well, we have, in the Air Force, we have a lot of really advanced equipment. And we're trying to make even more advanced equipment so that if, if our country has to go to war, we win fast and people don't die. And so making that equipment means we need to be the best in the world at science and technology. What careers can kids that are studying STEM get to when they grow up at the Air Force? We hire all kinds of engineers and scientists. So we hire mechanical engineers and electrical engineers and computer scientists and civil engineers. We have all kinds of engineers and so, scientists. So scientists and engineers? Yep, but all kinds. What's the best part about your job? Well, usually it's the people I work with. I get to work with a lot of really wicked smart airmen who are really good at what they do and really dedicated to it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, it's very good to meet you, sir. Good to meet you, too. I hope you have a great day. So what are you looking forward to most of the air show? Well, I guess meeting the pilots and seeing the jets. All right. We'll have a fun day. I got to meet two members of the Elite Blue Angels team. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you got to see the Jets as well? Pretty cool, you got to see those. And you can see the Thunderbird Jets too. I asked them about the effects of G-forces on the pilots. That happens when you go up too fast. When you are, when you're going up and then you push down. So G's are pushing blood up into your head. So don't go up or down too fast. Right, exactly. <laughs> When you go down really fast, you start to experience negative G-forces or a feeling of weightlessness. And when you go up really fast, then you experience positive G-forces, which makes your body feel heavier than it really is. I got to take a closer look at the FA-18 Hornet. Whoa, look at those big engines. Now sit back and enjoy some of the best aerobatics from the U.S. Navy Blue Angels.
watching this special episode of JoJo Science Show. I hope this gave you a glimpse of how awesome science can really be and all the amazing opportunities that await you in the U.S. Air Force. And who knows, maybe you can become an awesome Air Force pilot too. And I'd like to give a special thanks to everyone at the Air Force for making this possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And remember kids, science is fun! <laughs>